This is the DJI O4A unit, and this is what people are saying about it. Now today, we're gonna to put that to the test, and we're gonna find out just how good is it, what is the best of the best like when you're flying it around, how good is it, is it worth upgrading, and at the same time, having a bit of fun. G'day, Stu from UOV Futures here, and this one, it's been a bit of a long time coming. This is our DJI O4A unit, and if you've ever wanted to try the best of the best, just how good is it, that's what we're doing in this video. So inside here, we've got the 220 US dollar. That's right, it might be different with a little bit of tariffs, I'm not too sure, but at the moment, $220, the DJI 04 Pro unit. This is like the flagship. It is meant to be as good as it can get and to really put it through its paces. Today, Stickman Steve, we're gonna go out, we're gonna fly it around. We're gonna look at the nitty and gritty in this camera, looking at things like, can I see those blades of grass? How is it in low light? How's the DVR, how's the recording, all that sort of stuff. We are also marrying it up to our generation three goggles right here. So we're gonna be cruising around, having some fun and answering the question like, how good is this thing? Is all the things the reviewers are saying online, is that the truth? Is it the gospel? Just how insane is the DJI 04 e unit? Now, I have put it in a couple of different craft. You're gonna see there is some flight footage. It's gonna be in like a Cine Ape or a Baby Ape 20 or something like that. A tiny little sort of micro two inch craft. I've also put it in my Tony 5, which is a bit of a long range craft. Uh, it does have a few little oscillations when it's in this larger one, but that's not the air unit's fault. And uh, it does struggle when you put a really, really heavy battery on there. But let's break it down. First things first, I'm gonna put the text and the specs on the screen because you would have seen that before. You just wanna know, like, does it live up to the hype? How good is it? And how have you jammed it inside here? What are the pros and cons like? So, so there's a couple of things I wanna mention about the pro unit before we go have some fun in the field. Check this mounting solution out. So uh, when I crammed it here in my Tony 5, this is where DJI has really dropped the ball. I mean, when it comes to camera mounting, it is absolutely terrible. It's very frustrating. All our other craft usually fit the cameras that we've been designed and flying around with FPV. DJI with the latest O4s, you're gonna need some sort of serious adapters or maybe complete frame redesigns. I have crammed it here inside my Tony 5, but you'll notice there's two like massive stand hole spaces at the top that I'm gonna have to fill because the big chunky camera in here, it looks beautiful, but uh, it's not gonna be for everybody, especially you've got to think carefully about the craft you're gonna be putting it in. And then it is a, a little bit bigger towards the back than like the light unit, but it is also smaller than the O3s. So the O3 air units, if you've put them in some craft in the past and you thought, oh, I just wish this was a bit more sport, smaller so I can cram it in something, you're gonna be in luck with the O4. Everything else is pretty straightforward. I've mounted my two antennas up the middle of the craft right here. Some people are gonna put them out the back, but all in all, it's $220. There's gonna be some pros and cons at the end of this video as well, but a lot of people are also saying, can it replace your GoPro? Like, do you need this and a GoPro or is this good enough? That's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go, we're gonna fly it around. You're gonna see a couple of different DVR shots, a couple of like the onboard recording shots. We're gonna fly it around with Stickman Steve while using the G3 goggles so you can decide for yourself and think, hey, yeah, I like it, or uh, are you better off with some other solutions? So let's go have some fun in three, two, one. Alrighty, Stickman Steve's in the background. I'm pretty excited for this one. We're gonna get some real nice juicy flights. It is perfect flying conditions here at UAV Futures headquarters and we are testing out the O4 Pro. So we're gonna go for a cruise, see what we can see. We've been flying around some other goggles a lot this weekend, so it's gonna be interesting, do some comparisons and let you know just how good is the O4 Pro? Is it really that step up versus the other ones, things like the light versus the walk snail system or HD zero? Just how good is it? What are people frothing over? And also at the same time, having a good time. All right, what do you think, Stickman Steve? Are you excited? I've been looking forward to this a lot. Okay, all right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. That's why I put it in this quad last night. I stayed yeah. up actually for a couple of hours <laughs> yeah, putting it in right. here. I have to say, I do not like the camera mount though. The camera mount, trying to put this okay. in and like retrofit it into some smaller quads. It's, if we can see that on the screen, it's a bit jank. Here we go, we're recording. Nice. It's a little bit, because it's so still out here, I wasn't sure if the VTX had overheated and it had just frozen, because it's just like, <laughs> there is not an ounce of wind That's out there. Beautiful. All right, now I have this on like an ultra light quad as well, so we should be able to go for a long time. I'm getting, I'm getting a few little vibrations that are, yeah. uh, I know I've flown this in another quad that weren't there, so, I feel like we've got a few little oscillations maybe from this quad, <clears throat> but I'm just having a look at the grass now and it's like watching back the best GoPro footage that you've ever seen. Like the clarity here, just in the detail of that grass really is impressive. Let's go for a bit. Oh no, that even that's rock solid. Okay. Whew, man. 
pretty nice, eh? Oh, it's it's about the field of view and everything. Okay, all right, all right. Thanks, Steve, because I was getting distracted. So yeah, if you could ask me some questions, that's great. I'm just kind of taking it in. It does feel. I think the step up from here is like the first time you tried digital. The first time you go from analog to a nice digital system back in the day in like 2019, it was like, holy smokes, you're just taking everything in. I didn't feel that with the O3 air units. I wasn't quite as impressed. Whereas this, this really, I do have that beautiful, just like awe inspiring. This is incredible. I feel like a bird just cruising around, looking at all the trees, the tops of the canopy. It looks absolutely Gorgeous. I, I do can... remember when I first went to digital, it's, it almost took away from my flying because I was so distracted from all the detail. Absolutely, 100%. Okay. Interesting. Now, I haven't had any image loss. I haven't had any breakup whatsoever. Like my megabits have been rock solid. I'm just going up through behind all the house now. So I'm up here like well behind me. I'm almost getting a little bit worried about my link quality. 99 but yeah up behind through all the house up into the neighbor's yard as well it's just beautiful nice crystal clear yep so remember when we flew uh 04 light up the back there we got a little bit of yes. transmission loss it didn't jam the screen up yes but we you did. did see some some megabit per second loss yep walks now got a little bit smeary let's just have a bit of a view around here see what it's like looking directly at the sun as well like that's something i can notice it's not getting washed out. Like the contrast between the very, very bright day we've got, I can still see the darks and the shadows and things like that on the ground at the same time. And probably a perfect example here, if I just come back and I can see the brightness in the reflection of the water. So where are we right here? So the water is very, very bright, but I can still also see like all the shadows, everything like that in the trees and the grass. That's probably where I'm noticing this system the most. The walk snail system, as, as a bit of a comparison, it's the difference in this little grassy detail. Like that's mm. the parts that I'm having a look at that I can really notice. And I'm getting some really good flight times out here, by the way. What's your voltage? Uh, 22.9, so like 23 volts. Yeah, nice. And no signal issue at, at all. Oh, I did just get down to 30 there. Did you? Okay. Yeah, 30 megabits. So I got a bit of an orange warning. It's back up to 35 now. Yeah. What about the, the oscillations, mate? Are they still there? Uh, those oscillations, I, they, they are there. Uh, and it's like on this weird, not at full throttle, it's like on this weird 40% sort of throttle when I'm cruising around. But I have flown this a little bit on some other quads before I did it. I wanted to put it into a better craft because the O4 deserves a better craft. And those oscillations weren't there on, uh, I think it was like the Baby Ape or the Cine Ape or something like that, but that yep. wasn't a five inch. So those oscillations are definitely coming from this craft. I don't like the camera mount either though. So yeah, it's gonna okay. be interesting to see just what this looks like when we bring it in. All right, I'm going to bring this in and uh, I'll get your impressions as well. Just get ready to run, Ayla. What? Stu's got a bit of reputation landing up here. <laughs> just don't look the quad in the eye, you'll be all right. <laughs> I like the size of this air unit too, like it wasn't difficult to mount. Much better than the O3, hey? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Add off your face. Yeah. Compared to the N3s, because those block out 100% of the light for me. How does that feel? I got more light leakage with these than the yeah, N3s. Yeah, okay. Yep. The way I didn't notice it, it's not like coming out of the nightclub at 3 a.m. Yeah, or yeah. 6 a.m. Yeah. It uh, wasn't quite as abrupt. And it's a very bright day today. It is. All right, so we're going to hand it over to Stickman Steve, but uh, I like the actual mounting of the unit. The camera, I do not like the mounting of that. Married up with these, like this is about as good as you can get in an FPV visual experience with these goggles and uh, this the Pro right here. I liked it. I think I can't wait for you to try it and compare it to walk snow in terms of like the, I don't want to say smeariness of the grass, but just the detail and the fidelity of the image you can see out there. So, all right, ready to rip it around? Yeah, mate. Let's do it. All righty, stick man Steve, goggles are down, yep. drone is powered up. No worries, arm switch on the wrong side. Correct, oh, that's it. That's wrong. the only way to go with this box of radio because <laughs> I've got that stupid momentary up here, but all right. Let's focus, 04 Lite Pro, I wanna hear about it, I wanna know what you think. You've flown HD Zero like just a couple of hours ago, you were just flying Walk Snail earlier this weekend. So Walk Snail is your main system. It this is. is gonna be quite interesting to see what you think. Yeah, I'm just getting the focus right. Yep, gotta give it a little bit to get in the air. Oh geez, you almost clipped the uh, 
stuff above the, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like the shade sails. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, those birds looked amazing, man. Okay. Got a couple Power of ducks. Lines. Oh, my God. What the heck? Are... Yeah, no, beautiful image. Absolutely beautiful. I see what you mean. It's quad with the vibrations. Yes, It's, it's yes. not much, but it's there. Yes. So if you give it a little bit more stick, they seem to disappear. So it was like this weird oscillation level from the drone. Yeah, it smooths out, eh? Yep. About 50% throttle. Yep. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to come down and check out the grass. Yes, detail. do that. That's really what I, what, I, what I want you to do. I don't know where you are, man. Oh, I'm pretty close. Yeah, that's amazing. That is, honestly, that is amazing. It's like not not pixelating together. It's not smearing. Yep, no, it's fully defined the whole way. Yeah, that's cool. Really. Yeah, man, this is nice. I um, I know this isn't about the goggles, but for my face, they don't fit too well. Okay. I'm getting a lot of light leak, which okay. is taken away a little bit. Yep, yep. But the actual image transmission. Oh yeah, that's gosh. what I want to focus on. Yeah. What is this actually like? What do you think of the O4 Pro air unit in here right now? Yeah, it's really, really nice. Solid too, right? Like, as you say, there's no smearing at all. Mm -hmm. There's no stuttering. And even when I found when mine did break up a little bit, like we're out here behind some of these trees, the image still looked really good somehow. Like it dropped the megabits. It gave me a warning, but I didn't notice it in like the actual image unless it was telling me, hey, you're dropping some. I don't think I would have been able to notice. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I, I'm not a fan of the O3. Um, I know when it came out, it was really, really impressive. Mm -hmm. But with the, is it the V2 goggles? Yes. And the O3, yeah, the, the most common setup that people have. I just honestly preferred walk snail. Okay. Um, interesting too, I prefer the Walksnail V1 goggles over their flagship. Yep. So I'm comparing all of my experience to that. And it's good. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I'm going to continue to love it, but this is next level, dude. Okay, so I know you are a big Walksnail fan. Oh, How man. does this compare to the Walksnail? Walksnail on its best day versus this right now? Um, not enough for me to rush out and drop extra cash. Okay. Honestly, it's not. It okay. is really nice. Yes. Um, would you say this is better like in image quality when you're looking at it? oh it's definitely better yep i wouldn't say it's phenomenal okay the difference isn't phenomenal but having that finer detail because i like to fly proximity nice and low mm -hmm. i like to be able to see those ghost branches and walks now does a pretty good job but when you get down to things like these big green and brown grassy patches yes you struggle to see the long blades or the, the little sticks that are sticking up you know what i mean mm -hmm. this i can see everything it's actually almost stopping me from looking towards my next obstacle yeah that's what i like i was just taking in looking at the view that's yeah. how i felt as well yeah when i first plugged a uh walk snail vrx into my sky zones i was like wow this is amazing and i'm glad i went that way because i believe it is a better system than the o3 setup okay i honestly do people might not agree that's fine but well what about with the o4 the now? o4 with these goggles pretty amazing i'm keen to see how the o4 pro goes with the n3 goggles okay i'm honestly a big fan of those goggles yes i think they do an amazing job for the are pilots. you getting a bit of light leakage on these ones i am yeah crazy down my right eye and okay. around my big schnozzer yep copy that but yeah i'll bring it in mate of um all right yeah and then i got a, i got a few <laughs> questions to ask you as well oh yeah that looks stunning flying through the shadows and the fine detail branches and things mm -hmm. so. are you sure you can do this Okay, that was a beautiful landing. I will trust you again. Thanks, man. All right, let me just unplug. Yeah. All righty, Stickman Steve, yeah. impressions on the DJI O4 Pro. $220, what do you think about the price, like US? Oh, it's, it's fine. It's, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, considering the other real competitor, Walksnail, their flagship VTX is a little bit cheaper, but yep. they're also two years old. Yes. I think... For the money, yeah, it's great. The form factor is better. They've improved that so much mm -hmm. in the actual VTX. Yep. It just mounts into so many more things. What about their camera? It's it's still a trash setup. Okay. You don't like their camera mount or the size or anything uh, like that? The I size, think they could have done a bit better here to retro. It's very, yeah. it's painful to put it into a lot of other it quads. Is, right? And it forces a lot of guys to either customize stuff or um, people who are making frames, companies who are making frames to redesign things. Yes. You know? And there's just no need for that. Yeah, all our other cameras, every other one, basically I can get to fit in this like Tony 5 yep. Yep. Uh, fly fish frame, well, yeah, the, not, not the DJI fly fish O4. frames are really good at fitting anything in yep. bar this. The O3 as well was yep. pretty crappy okay. to mount. Okay. Um, the actual size of the camera I think is absolutely fine. It's got good protection up around the lens and the lens shoot, I guess you'd call it. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, not too bad there. All right. How was your actual flight experience? That was awesome. You liked it? It was great. Yeah, not so much the overall clarity. It's For me, it wasn't going like going from a 1080p walk snail to a 4K GoPro. You know, like that, it's never going to happen with live transmission in the air like yes. that. But the, the detail, the finer detail when you get close to things, and that's what I enjoy is getting under branches, getting nice and low to the grass, like right then out in the farm. Mm -hmm. I can see all those long shoots. I can even see the seed pods yes. coming off the end. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's 100%. pretty impressive. Radio Steve, thumbs up, thumbs down in the middle or anything else? Any extra notes? Thumbs up. It's great. It's a really good system. It's, it's proven itself many times, but... I don't think you need to upgrade if you've already got something like I do, walk snail, yes. more than happy with it. Okay. Yeah, okay, this has got an edge with the detail and things yep. and possibly penetration. Yep. But no, I'm not going to rush out and buy it. Okay. No. What about if you had like an old DJI system? If you had the other DJIs, you've oh, flown the O3s, would yeah. you change? Would you go and upgrade or would you still keep flying I'd that? I'd run it out until it was obsolete or I had no choice. You know, okay. Like all my gear was broken and my goggles were useless. Yes. Then I would. Okay. And that's what I'll be doing with walk snail as well, yep. right? Too easy. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Awesome, man. No worries. So does the Pro deserve the hype? And I've got to say, I feel like the answer is kind of yes. I like what DJI is doing with what they're offering here. For like $220, it is much more expensive than the light, but you are getting quite a lot out of this. If I had a larger craft, this is definitely the option that I would be going. Also too, compared to like the old O3 unit, it's not that much more expensive, but it's not going to be suited for those smaller form factor crafts. Things like the Lightning, the Drac Knights, definitely not for Whoops or anything like that. This it's a great alternative, I would say, for like four inches and up. It does look absolutely gorgeous, but at the same time, it's more expensive than any other air unit you know, on the market. And the biggest con for me is I really don't like the camera mounting solution. I wish you could do that. And also, you can't really swap this camera with some of the other O4 light cameras or anything like that. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what DJI is doing. That would be nice if we didn't have to use this big camera all the time. So everything is great. It's expensive. And it's difficult to mount, but the actual recording that you are getting back, you're gonna be able to get the most of out of it. Now, Steve thinks he would still prefer to slap a GoPro on. I'm sort of like, this is good enough for my flying, like for my sort of filming, even for my videos that I'm making. I think a lot of pilots are gonna say, hey, I don't need a GoPro anymore. And if that is you, you're after something that is really like the pinnacle of where we're up to in FPV, the flagship of image transmission and just how good it looks. Uh, you've got a lot of options there to play around with. I think a lot of pilots are gonna get something out of it. Now, as a bit of a bonus, uh, there is also some members only videos I've just dropped on the channel. That's gonna be talking about these goggles you saw in this video, cruising this around because you really do get more out of this air unit when you marry it up to a set of goggles like these, like the detail that you can see it kind of was a bit breathtaking. That video is going to be down there for members only. And everyone else, like, go watch this video. That's probably the best FPV video ever made. Like, it's just for you. Go watch it.